Ah, Canon. Just when you thought they couldn't possibly squeeze any more pixels into a full-frame sensor without at least violating some laws of physics, they've turned up the heat. 410 megapixels. That's right, 410 megapixels, because apparently we were having trouble delivering value with a mere 45 megapixels. Today, we're revisiting a Canon Monster sensor, first announced back in January, but now finally shown off to the public at the Shanghai PI show. I'll walk you through exactly what Canon told us in that January announcement, that press announcement, and what's new since then, and why the same person might actually want a sensor capable of, are you ready for this? 24K video. And I know what you're thinking. Is this the long rumored high megapixel R series camera capable of supporting 410 megapixels? In January, Canon rather casually dropped the news that they built the highest resolution full frame sensor ever, the LI8030SA, a 410 megapixel full frame sensor. That's 24,592 pixels by 16,704 pixels. Or to put it another way, that's 180 times more detail than you would get in a standard Full HD video. Or, are you ready for this? 40 times more information than you get in 4K, 4K Fine, or any other 4K UHD video stream. Completely overkill for portraits of your cat, but rather good for reading license plates from orbit. Canon also mentioned that it could shoot 8 frames per second at full resolution or 24 frames per second at 100 megapixels. That's not bad for something with more pixels than a decent sized wall mural. So if we fast forward to the 2025 Shanghai Photo and Imaging Show, which just ended on Friday, or was it set? No, it ended on Saturday. This is where Canon actually showed off the 410 megapixel sensor, but it was carefully protected under glass. So it's real, yes, and it's not just a press release there for everybody to gawk at. And if I was there, I would have not only gawked, but probably drooled a little bit. Way overkill for what I would want to use, but still a stunning piece of technology innovation. And we also learned a bit more information about what's going on under the hood of this new sensor that Canon didn't tell us back in January of 2025. Canon's using a clever stacked architecture with redesigned circuitry to handle the massive data rates. And that readout speed? 3.28 gigapixels per second. Try saying that three times fast. And this, this might give you a little bit of an insight into who this is really designed for. Because the whole architecture of the sensor is really geared towards producing stunning, result, stunning results in low light work, which is actually ideal for security cameras. You see, the monochrome variant of the sensor can bin four pixels together, allowing 100 megapixels, video at 24 frames per second, with vastly improved sensitivity. So yes, you can now shoot surveillance footage of someone sneezing in perfect detail. And despite all that resolution, it's still a 35 millimeter full frame sensor, not medium format giving customers, and this is kind of a big deal here. This is not your standard security sensor into a security system. This new sensor, this new design that Canon's come up with gives customers the ability to use existing RF and EF lenses. So whether your lenses can resolve that much detail without weeping quietly into their lens hoods, well, that's another question, especially when it comes to the older EF variants or lenses. So the main reason you're here Will Canon support this 410 megapixel sensor in a new R series camera, like an R2, an R4? Canon says that this sensor is expected to be used in applications that demand extreme resolution in various markets, including surveillance, medicine, and industry. Okay, so the first two I get, surveillance and medicine, but industry? Well, what does industry mean? Well, what it means is, it's not aimed at you and I, so no R-series camera, right? Well, not so fast, because developing a 410 megapixel sensor takes an awful lot of effort, of resources, and expertise, so much so than developing, let's say, a, well, 200, 150, or 100 megapixel sensor. I have no doubt that Ken has learned enough from this sensor, this 
410 megapixel sensor to create another sensor that's more apropos for an EOS R series camera, a high resolution version of the R5 or the R6 or something completely different that takes on the R2 or the R4 moniker. The only question is, is there a big enough market for this camera? So that brings us to the second last question. Why bother? Well, for an industry, from the industry point of view, from medicine and security, I think that's the biggest possible market that Canon can go after. So taking care of that first makes sense. And one of the spin-off technologies is for professionals who need to capture the tiniest of details, forensic imaging, scientific research, or manufacturing inspection. High resolution past 100 megapixels is a revelation. You can even crop higher than that and even print absurdly large images without losing detail and gather data at a scale that just makes, well, medium format look so quaint. At 410 megapixels, this full frame sensor surpasses phase one's 150 megapixel system. And while staying relatively compact and using existing glass, that's rather like stuffing a Bugatti engine into a small Honda hatchback. Sure, it's impractical for daily use, but marvelous engineering nonetheless for the rest of us. For the rest of us, it's an impressive technology demo, a peek into the future, a hint at what might come. And let's be honest with ourselves here, the sort of thing that we could be pretending we don't want, at least until Canon inevitably puts down a cost-reduced version into an R-series body. And we're likely to sell a kidney, an arm, or a leg. So there you have it. Canon's 410 megapixel sensor, announced in January and finally shown off at the Shanghai show just last week. It's real, and all those patent documents didn't just stay on the shelf, at least not this time. But today, it's clearly not built for photographers like you and me. But make no mistake, this is the future knocking politely on our doors, at least a full frame. The only real question here is, how long before Canon actually invites us in? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I find this very interesting. I've been following patent applications for several years now. And every now and then we come across something about a high resolution camera. Um, we see this in the press too. Usually once a year, there's an update saying, next year. Next year, Canon's coming out with a high, high megapixel version of the Canon EOS R5. And that year comes and no, no, it's, it's, it's next year, it's coming. 45 megapixels is pretty high resolution. Sony only goes up to 61 megapixels. Nobody has yet really gone to 100 megapixels on full frame, medium format, yes. I have no doubt that we're gonna see some technology come out of the sensor. As I said earlier in this video, I don't think there's a big enough market to go through all this research and development for a 410 megapixel sensor just for photographers. By going after that industry, that medicine, that security field, where there's a much bigger market, a much bigger market, well then they're able to put it through its first batch, its second batch, and then boil down the technology to where it becomes cheaper, to where they can put it into a camera like the Canon EOS R2 or R4, but definitely not the R2-D2. If Canon had a sense of humor, they would come out with an R2-D2. That would be cool, <laughs> wouldn't it? Anyhow, um, thank you so much for watching this video. Watching it to the very end is very much appreciated. If you do like this content, then please go ahead and subscribe. And if you're looking at purchasing camera gear from Adorama, b &H, Amazon.com, or Walmart, then please consider using my affiliate links down below. This channel is viewer supported. I don't do any sponsorships. So a big thanks to all of you that have used my affiliate links in the past. That's it for now. Have, a, have yourself a great, well, the weekend's over now. This is Sunday, the time that I'm recording this, due to come out Monday morning. So I guess I should wish you a good week. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you again soon.